Hey guys, this is Mike, also known as CoolBH03K, and I'm here to demonstrate the 1.8 GHz overclock for the HTC One XL, also known as the Rogers or AT&T HTC One X. Now, this overclock is done using a kernel module instead of a custom kernel, so you can uh, load this overclock into devices with a locked bootloader, and that's especially important for AT&T One X users who cannot lock their uh, unlock their bootloader because uh, HTC and AT&T have apparently decided that user freedom isn't important and decided to keep it locked, unfortunately. So um, that's basically what drew me to make this. Um, but as you can see here, it is running pretty stable at 1.8 gigahertz, and I'm going to demonstrate some benchmarks. So let's tune this back to 1.5 GHz and see what Linpack shows. Uh, in the Linpack, Linpack multi-thread, um, I'm typically seeing speeds of up to 210, 215 um, at the stock 1.5 GHz speed, and typically it hovers around 200 as you can see. Uh, now this is very very fast already. Um, the Qualcomm crate is a very fast chip. So the highest we saw there was in the low 200s. So now let's see what happens if we raise this to 1.8 gigahertz inset CPU. Now we go back to Limpac and let's do a couple runs. And already we've seen 215, 226, 233. To 32. So it is quite a bit faster. I do see, uh, I have seen speeds of up to 250 megaflops in Linpack multi thread, which is absolutely extremely fast. Um, especially for, you know, a dual core chip because of the new architecture um, that Qualcomm has introduced. Um, so now let's. Uh, do a more real-world test, um, even though it is still a synthetic benchmark. Uh, SunSpider. Um, this is going to be using the HTC stock browser, so our results should be consistent. I find that SunSpider is a good uh, indicator of how much your speeds have improved after an overclock because you're testing it with the same browser um, both times. And JavaScript execution is pretty based on CPU speed as far as performance goes. So I, I typically get results of around, as you can see, 1500 milliseconds, a bit more than that, at 1.5 gigahertz, um, which is really fast uh, for a smartphone. That's probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest smartphones out there. So let's switch back into SunSpider, and let's run another test. at 1.8 gigahertz.
One thing to note is that since the One S uses basically the same uh, system on a chip, um, it should be trivial to add support for the One S uh, for this hack too. Even though all One S's are able to be bootloader unlocked, HTC has not released the kernel source of the One S yet, so we can't make custom kernels um, for that. So a kernel module is actually perfect for implementing an overclock. So uh, in the thread that I'm going to post below, um, I'm going to tell you how to make me add support for the One S since I don't have one on hand. Huh. So, let's check what the results are for 1.8 gigahertz. I'm getting 1385 uh, compared to over 1500. Um, so that is a really nice boost and probably makes it the fastest Android phone for JavaScript execution. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to post links in the description, uh, including the thread where you can find out how this all works and how, how you can download this and try this for yourself, as well as sources for the kernel module for developers, so you can see how I managed to pull this off without the kernel source or um, even a uh, locked bootloader. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.